Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're going to go for another beautiful run of Legacy Operations. Today we're looking at the Avenger Assemble, which is the Lily Shing uh, storyline apparently. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into it. I'm testing some new graphical um, options, which might mean that this video could lag just a little bit. We're playing it on Nightmare as always. And here we go. Chief Engineer's Log, Lily Shen, first entry. It's funny. Dad always used to smile when he said that. Some sort of inside joke from the old days, I guess. Well, the joke's on me now, isn't it? He's gone. And now I have to pick up the pieces. Problem is, I have no idea how they fit back together. Central tried to give me one of his pep talks today, right after Dad's ceremony. Five seconds later, I had my first mission. Something about scanning some old ordnance our recon drone spotted. Oh, that and getting this entire ship operational. No pressure, right? Chief Engineer Log. Well, field notes, I suppose. We're approaching an old interceptor we picked up on a drone flyover. I made the mistake of telling Central about a new 3D replication system I had been working on, and now he wants to blueprint all kinds of stuff. In this case, it was some old avalanche missiles we were after. So, here we go. We are up for a challenge of 47,500 points maximum. Um, I just uh, took a look whilst she was still uh, telling her flashback um, what we're dealing with and much to my surprise uh, uh, Lily Sheng is combat specialized uh, which means we're not going to have any healing here as always I'd like to start off getting uh, very aggressive to get that early bonus there's the first pack um, and that's packs of four which is difficult so we're looking at we're looking at uh, Captain here, Stun Lancer, a normal uh, trooper, and a mechanical unit, a mech with a substantial amount of armor. I want to get everyone into position so we can start our ambush next turn. keeping these entries for posterity purposes or just in case I get incinerated into atoms today. I do have an idea here Those missiles were I'd like to probably open up with the most and potential damage it's more hit points that we could if get we down 714 so uh, that's effectively 10 hit points that's 24 28 hit points we're not going to be able to kill all of uh, them in one turn unless we're using consumables in which case, I would like to use the Claymore. Blocking off the entrance here, by the way, so they are not running into us. And we're starting with a frag grenade. And I'm like, I like to use the one from the Assault, because I'm not sure if we can actually kill the mech. And Lily has Comet Protocol, which could kill the mech afterwards. Nice one. So, that's two kills right away. We definitely get the early bird bonus twice already. Let's make sure we can get the Advent Officer. Getting it up here. Nice little hit to the face. And let's finish him. Leaves only Lily. And yeah. Whew. Good one. Nice little first engage. I like it. Hard to believe we used to consider these avalanche missiles to be the most advanced ballistic weapons around. 
That was back when conventional warfare was a thing. These days, they'd be considered quaint at best compared to what the aliens have. Okay. Still. I'm betting Central will put them to good use. So here is the thing, I mean, you just need to understand how the game uh, sometimes wants you to play it. Three armor in a in a ballistic setting, and I can tell that right away because I'm I've just here. played a ballistic campaign, right? Three armor in a ballistic setting means you're not going to kill that tower. But with combat protocol, we can actually injure it, maybe even kill it right away. All right, good enough. The tower is almost down. The next hit will kill it. Okay. I go. Let's reload. I don't want to take any chances here. We could be revealed even if we kill it. Although, wait a second, I mean, if no one's here to reveal us, if we could kill it, there is no one that could see um, our Reaper, so the reveal would automatically uh, fail. Let's try that. There you go. Can't be revealed is there, if there's no one to see us. Apparently I was wrong. I was always under the impression you can't be revealed if there is no one there to see you. And ooh. We're just in for more trouble. Gosh. Well, it is what it is. Maybe not the worst. Oh, wait a second. Another pack of four. Oh, hell yeah. The aliens never seem that interested in adapting any of our technology. They were definitely protective of their own stuff. I used to think they just didn't want us to have Oh, that. gosh. So we're looking at Maybe it's something else. 30 hit points right away. Two stun lancers. That's a monster pack. Sort of like that in that way. That's a monster pack. Lily could move here. Let's see. Someone moving up to here. Here. Well. That's well, actually a pretty good spot to not be flanked because this full cover here, although it looks a bit loose, mm, can only be flanked if you're standing like in this row. So that might be an option, but I must admit I rather take half cover and have the security to not be flanked. And we're off. We should use the opportunity to hit the guys that are not in cover. I wish we could grab it over here, to be honest. We can't. could move over here and then take a grapple just all the way over here and that might work but we would expose ourselves for a stun lancer rush this here is an excellent cover unfortunately we still have this uh, this um, stairway that could lead up could move to here into full cover still a good chance to take a shot against um, against the stun lancer 
question that I'm asking myself is do we want to use shadow and maybe block that entrance? That way they would need to come all the way towards us. Moving to designated coordinates. Having him being here is not the worst uh, possible idea. We're just overwatching. That's okay. I'm still a bit concerned about how we want to go with the with the reaper could move over here into full cover that's an option let's think about the reaper uh, at the skirmish after we move the reaper um, We could take a 50-50, uh, go into shadow, move here, kill this guy, and then hope that we're not going to be revealed. Um, I guess the problem with it is, mm, after this fight, there's at least one more pack, just judging from the number of points. And I don't know if we want to scout them out or not. But on the other hand, here is the deal. I can't just use him as a scout without having a six-man squad. If you have a four-man squad, uh, the Reaper needs to be an active participant in the combat. You can't just let him scout, okay? So it means we're going to go for concealment here, like I said. We're going to take that shot to kill him. And if we're going to be revealed, then, we're, then so be it. Um, if not, that's also fine. It is what it is. Uh, that, that was a risk all along. We knew it. Um, moving in. Taking an overwatch. Which means the first person to charge in. Yeah, that's not the worst thing. If the Reaper is in stasis, the Reaper is the lowest damage. Except if you flank someone, then the Vector Rifle can actually deal some decent amount of damage. Ah, we almost got him. That was close. We almost got him. Double move? Tongue grab? I might need some help. Shit. We have the first injured. And... Ah, gosh. ...was wary of the alien's tech. He'd always say it was the ultimate expression of biomechatronics. It wasn't meant to come from I remember him arguing with Dr. Valen night after night. Despite the advances the alien tech offered us, Dad was determined to keep humans, well, human. Gosh. I don't like the odds against the Viper. We're going to go into full cover because that's the best thing that we could do. Still want to take a shot at the Viper. Or the dodges. No, let's not go here. This is just a free invite in order to, uh, to spit. Unfortunately, there is no more cover here. All of this, I mean, moving into such a position here is pretty ballsy because it assumes you're actually going to kill it or you're going to take a shot. Problem is, uh, I am very concerned that uh, Lily is not going to survive the next round. So we need to have a flanking shot onto the Viper. This here would actually probably be our best bet. So taking half cover and the closest distance to the Viper and let's see if we can kill it. Nope, we can't. Uh, that pack is indeed quite tough. Mind control. 
Oh. He's trying to take a shot. Well, that's a tongue grab. And a second injury. That's when I got my first look at the missiles we were after. I'm not saying Dad was wrong, but modifying humans is one thing, upgrading equipment is another. The Avengers shell is already predominantly alien, an old transport ship XCOM managed to dig up in the early days of the war. If we actually try to work with their technology instead of against it, maybe the Avenger will actually fly someday. So we're moving up. Uh, we definitely need to get the Viper down. Being a bit unlucky here. In order to not lose our Reaper, we're going to use the second um, combat protocol just to deal some damage really not a good uh, move and I wouldn't recommend anyone to do that but it it's more born out of desperation than anything else I go Moving into half can. cover And another Overwatch. It is under my watch. This, is an this guy maybe not I even having my control. Myself on the Avenger up and running if I can't make it through one salvage operation. Did Dad ever have the goings? The way people used to look at him, you could see the respect. So now we are soldiers just look at me as another piece of gear they need to protect. Trying to get somewhat over here. Mainly because I want to get rid of his cover. Full cover is a pretty difficult thing. Uh, we're going to keep the justice uh, drag for now. That, on the other hand, should be fine. Just off the mark. We're almost in weapon range, so I'd rather reload and take a shot and stay in full cover. By the way, we're having a bit of uh, an unfortunate streak here. Giving up high ground to take the shot here. Come on, Lily. He falls into sustenance, moves right back out of it, and moves away. Just to stasis again. I'm hoping that I'm not pulling another pack. Which apparently I'm not. I'm back in. Rover, let's move. So that's one of the harder first missions, TBH. The size of the packs alone is relatively difficult. Moving there. Okay, this round is probably going to be a reload, uh, reload kind of refresh Moving. round. Orders 
Okay. Overwatch, reload. Actually, reload and reload. Let's hack this. I'm pretty sure that there are still enemies around because it says neutralize all targets. And it's not great off so far. We could either give her. 15 aim which is great and a huge crit bonus or we have a very small chance to give that to everyone let's try to give it to lily oh shit i should have been greedy well in, in the next three turns lily certainly has a good chance of actually hitting and critting. Overwatch. 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 And Overwatch. I want to hear where the <coughs> next pack is at. I am trusting you. Moving just a bit closer. Rolling. Come on it. Again, continuously overwatching. I want to. If we're fighting packs of four, I'd like to have that extra edge. Okay, another pack of four. But that is much more doable than the one that we fought before. Nice. Let's finish the advent captain. Very good. That's one down. Lily can stand over here in full cover. And actually kill the sector with her increased aim. Very nice. That was helpful. So the only one to fear is the trooper now. The purifier is too far away to be an actual threat. He's more of a nuisance, a nuisance at that point. This here is a great full cover spot. I love it. Pretty, pretty decent. And we got the trooper down to 1 HP. If we would have untouchable or any form uh, to, to get out of there, I would actually consider moving in. Weapon range, that's an issue. Understood. Moving a bit closer just to get the better weapon range. 50 50. Yeah. Adjusting So we got another wounded soldier. That's 3,000 points that we've uh, missed so far. Not the best mission, to be honest. Uh, I used to play that way better. We're taking 
a great flanking position here. That should have been it. We got a bit unlucky. So we ended up with 30,000. 47 was on the line. Could have um, had 3,000 more if we wouldn't have been injured. So 33,000. Probably the 47,000 were a bit. Um, bit ambitious um, let me think about it was it even 40 uh, 40 uh, 47,000 I think we had 25,000 for the objectives no that can't be right because we have finished all of the objectives there was probably 20,000 for the objectives and then yeah 20,000 objectives and 22,500 for for the kills and we managed 13,000 out of the 22,500 which the 22,500 I think is just a theoretical value you can't kill all of the enemies in the first turn and we got minus 3,000 from uh, from the injuries it is what it is Mimic Beacon is pretty good. Ranger will get a Mimic Beacon. Oh, that's pretty good as well. That's two Mimic Beacons right there. Yeah, I think we're going for double Mimic Beacon. Okay, so we got ourselves a Grenadier, finally, a Shredder and Launch Grenade, perfect. Well, it should be a beautiful um, mission and two Mimic Beacons. <laughs> well, yeah, we're, we're having a lower number of injured people and the Mimic Beacons actually fit super well into the no healing uh, combat uh, protocol uh, style. We got Phantom. Uh, total combat means he can throw a grenade before ending his turn. Remote start is super good. Blood trail um, is a bit uh, more damage for the vector rifle. Yeah, and we fell behind in the progress. 260,000 guys, so I need to do better in the next missions. That was a pretty poor performance. Chief Engineer's Log, Day 12. It's been almost two weeks since my last mission, and it looks like I may be called up again soon. After crawling around the drive shaft tubes for the last five days, I'm actually thrilled at the change of scenery, not to mention the smell. We've zeroed in on a crashed Sky Ranger, pre-war. The drive assembly on those things? Well, it could be the answer to my prayers. That is, if it survived the crash. And if I manage to get a clear scan of it without us all being captured or turned into Mutant Chow. Is it strange that I'm starting to feel excited about all this? Then again, I am covered in synthetic coolant. This area has been relatively quiet for years, but Central's picking up intermittent enemy chatter nearby. Hopefully we can get to the Sky Ranger nice and easy. Still, I'd better prepare the squad for a fight. Okay, we're looking at 40, uh, 50,000 here this time. 24,000 for enemy kills means we're looking at 16 enemies, 16 small enemies or 12 uh, larger ones. I've already see, we've already seen that there's a pack, uh, a f uh, pack of four down the way. So yeah, that's going to be happening in the next mission, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen, don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below and tell me how you did in that uh, last mission that we did. See you very soon.